hey guys welcome back to my channel happy easter i hope all of my subscribers are enjoying the easter so far in today's video is a collaboration with another youtuber by the name of sherry ann williams we both are going to be making our guinness cross buns she's going to make it her way and i'm going to make it my way all right so i hope you guys go and check out her video as well this is her channel here And these are some of her delicious meals that she has made. So you guys definitely need to go check her out. So I hope you guys are gonna go and check out Sherry Han channel and subscribe to her YouTube channel as well and give her video a thumbs up. Alright. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy watching my Guinness Crossbones video. I'll be showing you guys step by step how I make it. And also I'll leave all my measurements and ingredients in the description box down below. And also I'll leave Sherry Ann's channel in the description box down below her links you guys can go and check her out as well and subscribe all right so let me just show you my ingredients enjoy and i hope all of my subscribers enjoy the easter holiday and try my recipe and leave a comment down below all right thanks again for watching and enjoy your easter guys so my ingredients are mixed fruit butter white sugar brown sugar evaporated milk, nutmeg, salt, cinnamon powder, egg, coconut powder, yeast, flour, and also some vanilla essence. So I'm going to put everything aside and start mixing up my ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my butter and I'm going to take my hands and mix my butter into the flour until the butter dissolves. So now I'm going to put in my yeast, one pack, and my coconut flour. You could also put water and put coconut milk. I'm going to pour in my white sugar and brown sugar, cinnamon powder, salt, and nutmeg. Then I'm just going to give it a mix. Mix, mix, mix. So now I'm going to pour in my fruits, raisin, cherry, currants, and mixed peel. So you're just going to give it a mix. So now I'm going to pour in my one egg and my warm milk and I'm just going to give it a mix. So now I'm going to flour my countertop and I'm going to take out the dough and knead it with my hands for about two to three minutes until it gets smooth. So my dough is smooth there now, I'm just going to roll it into a ball and in my bowl there I have some oil. So I'm going to put my dough now into the oil, turn it over so both sides of the dough get oil, just like that. So now I'm going to cover it and let it for about two hours, it's going to take to rise and double in size. So it's been two hours now, so you're just going to take your dough out. Put some flour in your countertop. So you're gonna roll your dough a little bit and then you're gonna cut it in half and then you're gonna cut it in pieces to form your little cross buns balls. So I'm just gonna take my knife there. You're gonna try and cut them equal as possible. But they don't have to be um all don't have to be the same shape. Just do your best. <laughs> so you're gonna put that aside and then you're gonna do the other one as well. So you're gonna repeat the process. So now I'm going to take one of the pieces there and I'm going to roll it into a ball. I'm going to roll it until it gets smooth into a nice ball, just like that. And you're going to get a pad with some grease proof paper or parchment paper and put on it. And keep on rolling your balls, guys. So now I'm going to repeat the process until you finish rolling out all of the balls. So 
So now I'll finish rolling out the ball. So you're gonna let this rest for another half an hour. So you're gonna cover it, and we'll be back. So now these are my ingredients to make my cross. It's just flour and water. And you're just gonna give it a mix, 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 mix. So now I'm gonna take a bowl and it's a black bag, and I'm gonna pour the mixture inside of it. As you can see, my cross buns is double in size. I'm going to cut that end of the bag there and put my cross right on, around, right on top, I mean. <laughs> When I made this first, I had I put sugar in it and the sugar made the cross like split in half. So that's why I tell you guys just use flour and water. So I'm gonna put this in the oven to bake for about 30 minutes. And here you have it guys, my cross buns. I'll be using my pancake syrup to rub on top of it. Yeah, I don't have to make any syrup. I'm gonna use my pancake syrup. As you can see, it's two set across. The cross buns look like it got because, like I said before, I put sugar first in the um, the cross mixture and it split in half, so I had to do it back over again. Mm. So that's why it's looking like that. But no matter how the cross yes, looking, guys, it. this cross bun was so delicious. Yummy! So I hope you guys try this recipe. I'm trying here to take out the crossbones out of the pan here. I'm also going to take off the parchment paper. Just going to take it out and you guys see my crossbone is so soft and fluffy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. So my crossbones now guys, I'll be eating it with some cheese. So let's get a knife to cut open this delicious crossbones and let you guys see how, how it's looking inside and it's well cooked. So I'm going to cut it right there so you guys can see. So now I'm putting in my sliced cheese here, guys. And again, we eat our croissants with sliced cheese. It is so, 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 so good. So I hope you guys try this recipe, guys. I'm going to taste it on camera and let you guys see. So guys, this is my cross buns here. Y'all don't laugh my cross. <laughs> I had to make the cross two times. For the first time, it, the cross like spread open, so I had to put back another filling. Anyway, so this is my cross buns here. As you can see, my cross buns is very soft and fluffy, just like me. <laughs> I'm crazy. All right, so let's go and taste it now, guys. See, I'm tasting it on camera, you guys see. Here it goes. Mm. Mm. In Guyana, we usually eat our cross buns with cheese. So, I have my cheese in here. Mm. This would be good with a nice cup of milk. A nice cool cup of milk. Mm. Mm. You guys really need to try this recipe. And if you do, you can leave a comment down below and let me know how you guys enjoy it. My guy needs cross buns. Alright? Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to check out Sherry Ann Williams' channel. I will leave her link in the description box down below. And please go and subscribe to her channel as well. And also subscribe to my channel too, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and 